If you're black, white, yellow, old, young, or a bit of every damn thing. Blind, crippled, and crazy. That is a path to true enlightenment. You will know a lot about yourself after you get on that damn train with a blind, crippled, and crazy person. That damn train start rolling, somebody gonna yell out, all aboard! Yeah. You're getting spiritual. Yes. Now, talking of journeys, every last bit of this crazy journey we are on is called getting respected by any means necessary. I take pride in what the hell you looking at. Because that lets me know what the hell I got. You see, Cheryl? Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. It's a horizon over there. There's mountains and there's peaks and there's valleys on that body. You understand? Share the women, but just don't leave no stains because that ain't nice. You don't leave a stain on a man's lady. Oh, is that nice, Cheryl? No. Is that nice, Cheryl, for you to get on top of another man's woman and leave stains and don't go to that restroom and get to a towel and wipe her off? It's not. That's very uh, it's unsanitary, and it's not nice. It's very unsanitary. You have stained me. Because every time I make love to my woman, all I'm thinking about is what, Cheryl? The stain that... That's what I'm thinking about in my mind. I can't get aroused if I'm thinking about the stain that that man left on my lady. Mm. Let me take a breath. Let me breathe now. I am Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris, and I'm your spiritual guide, Los Santos. I'm a registered health practitioner with an international recognized degree. I'm a trained yogi who can suck both his big toes at once. I'm an expert in cleansing, a devotee of colonics, and a wise man. You know what colonics are? Yeah. What do clients go through? It goes, it goes to your butthole. No, your ass. Your it ass. It goes to your ass, Cheryl. I'm a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior all at the same time. Sometimes I'm a warrior and compassionate at the same time. They don't know where I'm coming from sometimes. A lady's laying there on top of that bed confused because she don't know where I'm coming from. I'm like a pitcher throwing a curveball or a slider. You understand? You don't know what's coming because you ain't the catcher. You see? So I, so I just did? See how I did that? I went into your head and took you to a baseball game. Mm -hmm. You understand? I am a compassionate lover and a fierce warrior. I spoon, I fork and knife, and that's what the chakra attack is all about. Love making sometimes mean you need to wrestle or howl like an animal. Oh! Oh! Anyway. Let's go to the phones. Speak, my child. I love you with all that I have. Take what you want of me and leave me spent. Hello? Hello? Speak up, homie. Hello? Um, hello? Oh, for land's sake. Sure, give me a better call, screener. God was a fool. He had me on mute. Who the hell puts Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris on mute? You kidding me? You disrespecting me? Seriously, woman? Ray, chill the hell out. You're on the radio. I'll light some incense. Calm. I am calm, but I'm also angry. That is a duality. That's what Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is all about. Duality. Duality. Do you understand, woman? I can't be understood by you, right? I'm talking a foreign language to you. I'm amazing, you understand? Just give me another caller and stop playing the woman card with your unshaven legs and pierced nose and disdained look for everyone else. Uh. Yeah, you do. You have a disdained look for everybody in my universe. Seriously, I can read your mind and you're wrong. You're dead wrong, okay? Who we got? Call her. Speak. Hi, Ray. Big fan of the show. Um. Um, back at you, brother. Big um. Big um with cheese on top. Um, organic cheese as well. Like from a cow. This is so exciting. I, I knew I was going to get on this week. I really did. Uh, Dr. Ray, I think I'm psychic. Can I be a guest on your show? I, I know the answer. I know the answer is no because, because, uh. Because you're batshit crazy, nutcase. Locked up in some loony bin and you call me every week. You call every damn week, run your phone bill up, talking that bullshit. It's, it's not, it's not a, it's not a loony bin, Dr. Ray. It's a high security mental institution. I, I never got convicted of a crime. I'm very thorough about DNA cleanup. I'm a spiritual being, Dr. Ray. I'm just like you. Um, 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 damn it. 
Dr. Ray. You're not oming with me. I feel your pain, my brother. We are all one, but some of us are also two. And that's that. Bye now. So I'll keep that freak off my goddamn show. Talking to freaks. Did I ever tell you about some nasty twins named Tammy and Sammy who have restraining orders against me after some hot yoga got out of hand? Hot yoga started and it went out of control. Weren't my fault. Damn women, it's 120 degrees. I was getting spiritual. Sure knows, I act out when I think I'm going to die. Oh, I'm a terrible fright on a damn airplane. You got to see me fly. Oh, I'm terrible. It's true. They have to scramble the jets. Listen, we get into turbulence, I'll grab a titty. That's the first thing I'm thinking about because that's where my mind goes sometimes. If you're going to die, I'm going to go down in a fetal position. Fetuses want titties. I ain't sucking no damn thumb. I'm going out the same way I came in. Everything in the universe is about two. And that again is the duality. When one becomes two, problems can arise. I am very clear about this in my book. Cheryl, what's the name of the goddamn book? When One Becomes Two, Problems Can Arise, A Study in Duality by Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. There you go. There you go. Many are called, but few are chosen correctly out of a police lineup. I choose you, caller. Speak to me. Um, with me. Hey, man, I'm calling you from jail. Dad? Is that you? Hello? Daddy? Uh, no. You know you don't know who your dad is. I know that one day he's going to hear me on the radio and realize the spiritual mistake he made and come back and we're going to enjoy all the things a father and son should do. Fishing, bike riding, three ways. Going to a farmer's market. Beekeeping, organic honey. Knitting. A dad and his boy. You know. Knit one, pearl two, all that shit. Gangster style. Blah, 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 blah. And I can say, Dad... I made you a sweater, and it won't fit very well, but he will wear it proudly, and if any man challenges him, he will say, I ain't no sissy. I ain't no damn sissy. My son made this for me, and he is Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris, host of Shocker Attack on WCTR. Who are you screwing with? Hey, man, are you going to get to my question? Oh, I'm sorry, my brother. I went deep. I went too deep. I went, I went, I went six feet under that time. I shoved a phone up my ass and smuggled it from Jim Pop just so I can call your show. Oh, you poor man. Sure, loves a conjugal visit. Listen, I'm in here for a real bullshit charge. What is it? Triple homicide, total accident, but they deserved it. Anyway... I'm in a spiritual hole. We can help you get out that hole, brother. You in a deep hole. I got to put my hand down there and pull you up. So I'll get my soul shovel. I'm about to dig this fool out of this chakra hole. Have you fallen down a well, brother? I will pull you out and we can drink of that water together even though you have most likely polluted the groundwater. Like you've been fracking yourself rotten. I'm really into Zen and Omen and yoga, and I want to get married to a woman who will be there for me when I get out in 2025. We can have a baby while I'm in prison. One inmate told me you can smuggle your own baby batter out if you hold it under your tongue and exchange it with a family member in the meeting room. Anyway, I know I've made mistakes. I want someone I can grow old with and brutally murder in our golden years. I think you need some body whispering. Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris is a spiritual body whisperer. Um, um, many of you might ask, what are you doing? I'm humming. Why are you making that noise? It relaxes myself and the ladies. You see, um, it's a scientific frequency that lulls the ladies into a relaxed spiritual place where the brain shuts off and the thighs go into overdrive. Mind off, body on. It's like trying to start a car. Z -z 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 Z -z 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 -z. That mine is the battery. That battery is drained and dead. But the engine's good. Right? You understand, Cheryl? Yeah, I can yeah. teach you how to get that frequency. But you have to buy my book and my mm, call. You know how duck hunters have a call they blow on that attracts ducks so they can shoot them like stupid ass sitting ducks? That's where that term comes from. A sitting duck. Because that duck's sitting there. Right? He heard that call and he sat there and got his ass shot. Boom! Feathers everywhere. Well, I have developed a bird call that attracts women. It's called the Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris mm, Spiritual Fine Lady Soothing Call to Attract Women. It's shaped like a sausage, and trust me, it looks a bit strange. But blow it and you'll see. Walk out on your cul-de-sac 
or at the PTA meeting and blowing that thing and women go mental. <laughs> Believe me. And sure, you have to blow on a sausage. But while you're blowing on a sausage, you want to... <laughs> Hell, I had a whole yoga studio full of fine women all over me when I blew that sausage-shaped horn. It was like one of them medieval shows on cable, only we didn't have a dwarf or a yak skin for a blanket. Some ignorant fools will say, are you really humming on that sausage? No, I'm cleansing myself. Like, like, like wheatgrass on your radio. That's how you cleanse yourself. But wheatgrass tastes awful. It tastes awful. Of course it does. But a sausage-shaped horn does not. You understand? The wheatgrass through your radio is a metaphor. It's a figure of speech. You understand? You are a terrible liberal woman. Bad, bad liberal. I bet you don't even give to public radio. No way. Why bother? It's so patronizing. It's like being spoken down to by a beggar. You have to give yourself and your money to public radio. You understand? Do I have to break this down to you, woman? Shut your mouth. That's public radio you talking about. I am for profit, but many are not. You are barely talking on this show. How am I supposed to teach you the ways of broadcasting, the ways it means, what I means? Your karma is getting shot off the hell. Oh, relax, Ray. I cannot relax, girl. I am not into relaxation. Relaxation is weak. I want to be hit. I am strong. Hit me, Cheryl. Hit me with the rain stick, Cheryl. Oh, not this again. I really don't understand how hitting you with a rain stick is helpful. Turn that upside down. Hear those soothing sounds? That is from Australia. And you're blowing to it. Isn't that called a didgeridoo? Whatever! Hit me with a stick! I'm a piñata! I'm not a piñata! You hear me? Why are you obsessed with piñatas? Because that's life, Cheryl. You either is one or you isn't one. And sometimes you both is. And you isn't. And you learn nothing? If you would focus on your damn chakra for half a second, all would become clear to you. You can hang yourself in the public square and let people hit you with sticks till candy and coins drop out your ass. Or you can sit on the mountaintop and hmm. Um, it's simple. I like both. So we got all these lines lit up. Let's go to line four. This guy is really spiritually constipated. He's got an ass full of candy. Let's hit him with one of the big sticks of love. My friend, what's up? Free yourself. Breathe deep. Yeah, that's bullshit what you said about coconut water. Don't you go disrespecting coconut water. That's the nectar of the gods. From places that are mad spiritual. With cave paintings and bacon sun and drum circles and heat stroke and where you can swim with dolphins. Dolphins! <laughs> and communicate with them. Swim with them and communicate with the dolphins. Dolphins are delivering babies, you punk ass. I heard the dolphins molest people. Where you hear that, woman? TV? That damn anti-spiritual booty box will suck the life out of you in a minute. Make your whole innards glaze over like someone threw your soul into an oven all covered in egg white. Like this coconut water fool right here. Ha ha ha. Listen, my friend. I just drank some, and I'm a significantly more hydrated than you. I'm hydrated. I'm a whole lot wetter than you. People in tropical locations are never thirsty. They've discovered the miracle of coconut water. Crack, crack, and you fill your glass up. Now, each coconut maybe contains six ounces of coconut juice. Now, if you got a 16-ounce glass, you're going to want to break two coconuts and hydrate yourself. Or you chop it up and sprinkle it on a coconut cake. You understand? It's called coconut flakes. Listen, the next big thing is going to be potato water. People in Ireland are already working on it when they're not brooding over cigarettes. Potato water is going to be huge. Isn't that vodka? No, in no way. It is the unfermented water from a potato. All moisture should come from nature and be available in easy open containers. Uh, coconuts are too hard to open. Nature tells you when it's wet and engorged and ready for you to drink. You press a potato, you get a beautiful fresh juice, which is just like orange juice, only better. I've also been trying cactus water, but I impaled myself. Oh, I get you. I hear you. Let's bring it together, my brother. Right? We had crosswords, but now, let's make two become one. The duality is back. You understand? We are one now, my brother. I'm upset. You upset. My belly bubbling, and I gotta take a crap. 
you got to take a crap. My nose running with snot, your nose running with snot. You feel me? Like when you have multiple universes in a comic book, we all part of one universe now. Thank you, Dr. Ray. Nature has all kinds of water. Sometimes you're thirsty in the desert, you can grab one of those land mammals and squeeze water clean out of it. And sometimes I get so into hydration that I let animals pee in my mouth. That's Ew. Right. I do. Oh, I that's do. really gross. Yep. I just love me some organic water. Now, on previous shows, we've talked about factory farming and how those chemicals have ruined everyone's health. You got to only go organic. Shit is expensive as hell, but the females love it. I hold a head of organic broccoli out the window and chum for them hippie girls. Don't I, Cheryl? You sure do. Let them hear it. Let them hear it. It's terrifying. It's also terrifying that it works. Terrifying is right, girl. You know how many intimate unions I've had in the grain of truth's parking lot? I'll be ripping off yoga pants with my teeth. Who we got next, Cheryl? Line 7 wants to talk about honey. Dr. Ray D'Angelo, I want all your listeners to know, stop eating honey. My family, we don't even use honey products, or conflict honey, as we call it, because honey is made under oppressive circumstances. Bees are kept in servitude and sexual bondage. They're like flying veal. And what's worse, male honeybee genitals explode after sex. Exploding genitals? Damn! I learned how to do that from an ancient Tibetan dude in the mountains when I was over there for a three-month spiritual journey. Well, there was no fast food, so it was pretty damn emotional. I told this ancient dude in the hills, I said, I recycle. I give to public radio and eat organic. But there's an empty part of me that wants a high fruit toast corn syrup soda, a big-ass factory farm steak, and to slap hippie girls on the ass and treat them like crap instead of putting up with their neurotic drama and dreadful taste in music. Hippie drama is the worst drama there can be. And this dude, he was spiritual as hell. You know what he said to me? You know what he said, Cheryl? What did he say? He said, you have to buy the right books. Listen to the right music. Listen to the girls, hippie drama, and dig down deep inside yourself and mm, like a mofo. And I did. I did, Cheryl. I um until my mama threw me out the damn house. And here I am. That was my time in Tibet. At least I think it was Tibet. Are you sure it was Tibet? Oh, I don't know. Some darn place with hills and sheep and everyone singing in choirs and all inbred. And they played a lot of rugby. Things like that. Tibetan stuff, you know. It was real cool. Played some Tibetan rugby, ate some cheese on toast. Real Tibetan style, too, with legs all crossed. For real. Anyway, let's wind down the show with the final yoga pose of an intense session, Savasana. It's actually Shavasana. Shavasana. Don't correct me, I'm a yogi woman. Yes. Shavasana. 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 I know Shavasana. Or corpse pose. Sure, join me. Come here on a big ray yoga mat, girl. Lay down like a corpse, like you did as a doornail. Lay there like you just got shot or died on a finger food voyage gone astray. I love me fresh corpse. It's so relaxing. You relax with me out there. You relax, Cheryl? You look stiff. Corpse aren't stiff, you understand? Okay, I don't really know what all of this means. Shh. Stir the ceiling and shut up. All Think right. Think iffy thoughts. Clear your brain. Yeah. Like, go on your head right now. Mm-hmm. Let Close your eyes. Go on your head. Get a whisk broom. You know what a whisk broom is? You eventually, you'll see uh, a barber on TV, and after he cuts your hair, he whisk broom you off, mm-hmm. your hair off your body. Yeah. Take a whisk broom and whisk your brain out your head and clear your thoughts. Okay. Like, get, do it now. Do it now. Clear your brain all them damn thoughts. Yeah. You feel empty now? Yeah. Is your brain empty? Yeah. Now, let's go. Mm-hmm. Man, I am so empty right now. Like I got a colonic in my brain stream. I got crap the crap out of my brain. Mm-hmm. Hit the outro music. This has been another episode of Chakra Attack with Dr. Ray D'Angelo Harris. Mm-hmm. Shit, ouch! Your hands are so... Don't ever do me that way, woman. <laughs>